It is very important that you receive God's righteousness as your very own. It is a free gift. It was the very reason Jesus came and went, died on the cross, and shed his blood. He came to destroy the works of the devil. The work of the devil is sin. Sin is separation from God. Now, everyone sinned and was separated from God. But Jesus became sin for you and for me. Why? So that you might be made the very righteousness of God in Christ. It is a free gift. It's not something you can earn by your good works. Now, what does it mean that now you are the righteousness of God in Christ? What does that mean? Well, we need to understand this. Sin is the nature of the devil. Sin is separation from God. But righteousness is the very nature of God. And hence, when you are made righteous, you are made one with God. That's the reason why you had to get born again. Because we've been in our natural birth, we have that, that sinful, selfish, devilish nature. Jesus says you've got to be born again so that you can now get God's nature, the nature of righteousness, and be able to enter into the kingdom of God and into God's holiness and into God's arena. Amen? So you're born again, you become righteous. You take a hold of God's nature, and you're one with him. The second reason why it is important to receive this gift is because with that new nature, in God's presence, you are holy, you are pure, you are totally, completely accepted, just as God accepts himself, and he accepts Jesus. Number three, and you see, let me just say this, that means you're justified. It means then you're forgiven because of the shed blood of Jesus, and you have no guilt, no shame, no condemnation. It's just as if sin has never been. Now here's the, here's the, the third reason. When you're born again, you're given the name of Jesus. That's part of your righteousness. That means you have authority over the devil on all of his works. Jesus says, the works that I do, you're going to do also. You have authority. You can cast out devils and demons. Number four, when you are made righteous, why is it so important and precious? Because you're a child of God. You're a joint heir with Christ. You're an heir of God, and you have all the rights and privileges of a son of God. All the promises to you are yes and amen. Righteousness is a free gift. If you're not born again, then you need to receive Jesus, and you receive that gift. If you are born again, then you need to rest in that gift and continually proclaim, I am the righteousness of God in Christ.